Ryan, what shoot was, we just got this new arrival in. This is the AAC 300 Blackout SBR. It's got the Knight's Armament URX rail on there. A nice little thin rail. It's got uh, pick tinny rails on the sides here. Uh, we threw on a Surefire flashlight just to see how that operates on there. Uh, feels pretty comfortable, really easy to ex uh, access. Uh, AAC puts their muzzle brake on here, so if you have an AAC suppressor, that's going to work great for you. Uh, got an EOTech just laying around the shop, threw that on there just to get a feel for it. Uh, operates pretty nicely. Comes with the Magpul CTR stock. Comes with the Magpul MO, uh, MOE Plus. It's got the rubber coating on it. Magpul P Mag. Only one of those comes with the firearm. A uh, nice little feature that they threw on this gun is a Geisley trigger. A uh, pretty nice trigger. They got the nickel boron bolt carrier on the AACs. Pop that open real quick. Nice little nickel boron bolt carrier. That's going to be easy to clean, easy to maintain. A pretty light package. Uh, if you're looking to get in the SBR 300 blackout, uh, if you already got an AAC suppressor, that's going to be also a nice little feature on there. I believe this is a 1 in 7 twist. Yep, 1 in 7 twist barrel. Uh, that's going to be a 12 and a half inch barrel. They do a, a pistol DI system, direct impingement. So it's going to be pretty reliable with the subsonic ammunition. Uh, a lot of people talk about how they have issues with the carbine link gas system shooting subs. Uh, shouldn't see any issues with this one here. Uh, let's see what our overall length is on this. Overall length, we're looking at 29 and a half inches with the stock collapsed. With the stock fully. We're looking 23 and 3 quarters. So a pretty small package. You can get a uh, case about 30 inches long. Gun should fit perfectly fine in there. A pretty cool package. Uh, we're going to go to uh, tabletop. We're going to measure the trigger pull. See what the weight is of the gun without the EOTech or the flashlight. Uh, flashlight. That's a Surefire. M300, pretty bright. I believe it's 200 luminous. Uh, nice little flashlight. I like it with just a pressure switch on the flashlight instead of having the wires that run around because then the wires get snagged on stuff. Uh, I think it's pretty accessible just right there. All right, we got the AAC 300 blackout here. Got a little closer view on that. Got the Magpul CTR stock on there. You can lock that in place where it won't move as much. You adjust it out. You see how you got a little wobble there? You just press that there, makes it all solid. That nickel boron bolt carrier there. Nice little Geisley trigger. Knight's Armament rail system. That's the URX rail. You got a full Picatinny rail on top. And then on the right and left hand side and the bottom, you got a nice little short Picatinny rail. One P mag. Got a trigger pull gauge here. Let's see what the average trigger pull is on this Geisley trigger.
Average, we're looking at 14, uh, four pound trigger pull there. All right, let's see what overall weight is. Got a nice little scale here. We're looking at six pounds, 0.3. Uh, uh, six pounds, four ounces. Kilograms, we're looking at 2.85. So not that heavy of a rifle. Uh, overall gun looks pretty solid I uh, have not yet test fired the firearm or had any range time with it but looks like it's a pretty good gun uh, maybe one day we'll get to bring this to the range and see how it performs hey thanks for watching guys I hope that video was helpful if you have any questions just comment below also don't forget to like us on Facebook follow us on Instagram and subscribe to YouTube thanks a lot